Welcome back, everybody, to the Cave of Wonders. This is Mr. Wonderboy. We are playing the Undead Campaign of the Frozen Throne, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, now Gareth Rose is back alive. Good. Sylvanas, come over here. Let's see what's going on. Alrighty, alrighty. Get these guys over here. See what you're doing. The sound crap out on me again. If it did, I'll be kind of pissed. So as you can see, fighting this base, it's huge, will be difficult. Wow, that would... Dude, ghouls clear out a lot of trees real quick, man, real quick. Good, good, good. I wonder why it's doing that to my sound. Hmm. Finish him. Keep them silent. Get these guys over here. Good. Alright. Hmm. We have all these guys. We have a bunch of... We have some destroyers. The way to do this is to basically have a huge number of siege on the human side, large number of units on the undead side, and basically lure them all to one side while you take out the, this side of the base. So you come in, you get all your, their units to, you know, merge and swarm over to you while you're attacking with the undead. So meanwhile, you come in with a large number of siege, like this large, And, uh, just go to town, really. Not gonna be easy, but it has to be done. Alright. Wonder what I can do with these guys. Well, let's not, let's not tempt fate. Right? Let's 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 not try and mess with anything. Okay. Everything is looking good so far. The main question is makeup of army. So I have these guys plus these two. That'll be group one. We have these guys. Plus some frost worms. I don't know. Should we have frost worms? Should we have these? Should they all be destroyers? Trying to think. No, they need to have some meat wagons with them too. Yeah, meat wagons. Definitely want to attack with max population of both. Both max 100 per population. If you anything less, there's no way you'll you'll survive. No, none. If you really want to be funny, you might uh, consider making a whole bunch of uh, gyrocopters, or as they renamed them stupidly, flying machines.
These guys are quick and very lots of vision. I don't even know if I ever fought these guys. Oh, no, no, I didn't. Interesting. Well, don't care about them now, that's for sure. While I'm around, just sort of give you guys a whole once over of the map while I'm preparing. Lots of stuff all over the place. That's where we got the dwarves. Good. A lot of water. Don't don't piss off dragons. Dragons don't want to be pissed off. Don't do it. I'm serious. Like don't. These guys are actually moderately decent at siege if you uh, have them on NOS, but they get ripped to shreds by gargoyles. Not even funny. One gargoyle can, like, take on, I don't know, 8, 12 flying machines at once. It's, ugh, so frickin' bad. Have Veramarthros quickly run down here and grab as many healing wards as you can. Those will be extremely helpful. Just all, it's all about buying time for the lion siege to do their thing. So this plus this will be group 5. This plus Garethos will be group 3. These guys will be group 4. Are these guys even in the group? Fortunately, these guys kind of wrecked my whole plan. Oh well. So three, four, I'll be group four. Cool. Come in with uh, some knights. Four. Three and four. Three, four. Boom. All these guys. Group two. What's she doing? Use charm, take over an enemy gargoyle. Any sort of uh, thing you can. Oh, yeah, this is going to work well. Tackle that force. Three and four while they're attacking, good. Make sure you uh, use uh, Devour Magic as much as possible. Even if it doesn't do anything, it'll still be helpful. Silence him. Nice. Up, oh, kill the demon gate. That'll be key. What are you guys doing? Demon gate, now. Anything. Tech anything. Excellent. Alright, looks like I'm running out of time, but 
I'm definitely finishing this level. We will see you guys next time on the Cave Wonders when we finish this level. Thank you.